Yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat, and um, today I'm going to be doing the third episode of the Neat Ascension series, and I kind of thought about um, what I would do for this video because initially I wanted to talk about, I guess, the things that I, I need to improve on, but that'd basically just be repeating um, what I said in my first video, which is my my goals my, and my hopes and my dreams, I'd be basically be saying the same thing. And also, um, it would be kind of just be like the opposite of what I've been saying my, in my other videos, complaining about all my problems. Like, I'd basically just be fixing that. So just assume for now that I'm gonna be trying to fix everything that I've been complaining about as far as my character issues, personal flaws, and things go but for this video i wanted to talk about all the things i'm currently doing to be productive because even though i do waste a lot of time not doing anything and just playing video games and watching youtube and you know being on being online and being a a scroller which is like a meme or like a like a coomer but he scrolls the internet internet so i can't talk right now for some reason like Maybe I'm just tired, but um, yeah. Um, instead, um, I am sometimes productive, um, and um, I do engage in certain activities uh, in order to better myself. And I'm going to be going over these sort of routines that I've managed to, um, I guess, undertake because it sort of serves as a baseline um, for me. And yeah, anyways, Let's get on with the video. Uh, so the first thing I have going for me, uh, being productive, is that um, I am pretty religious, pretty, um, I guess, consistent about taking my supplements. And maybe I'm able to do this because it's such a, a low effort, <laughs> um, low like motivation required type of thing where you basically just like pop pills and you hope that they sort of give you what you want. but over the years well i haven't really tried that many but through research i've sort of found a couple that have really helped me out and i'm just going to be go going over them quickly but i pretty much take these every day um like um and i feel like they definitely help me um in terms of my i don't know my metabolism my my body composition and everything and even my mental health and for example um I read somewhere that uh, zinc, especially like zinc citrate, because it um it has um what's it called? It's more absorbable and it has um less cadmium, which is a toxic um I guess heavy metal that can be confused for zinc during the mining process. But um yeah, uh, taking that um ever since I started taking it, I think within four months of taking it, and this is when I was sort of injured at the time and I couldn't work out um. I just magically developed a four pack like before only the top two of my abs were ba were barely visible but after taking it for um i guess maybe like two or three months actually i just magically developed a four pack and my abs are even visible to this day even though i am kind of overweight so that's definitely one thing i feel like it definitely helps as far as like testosterone goes and like your muscle mass i feel because otherwise um, I wouldn't um, look the way I do currently and who knows how else it has affected me I think it's kind of helped with me with my emotions maybe because of the uh, test the whole testosterone aspect I mean pretty much all these are for my testosterone <laughs> um, this is it's like one pill left uh, glucosamine I don't think this really works to be honest but it's just supposed to be good for like joint health because I have a bad back from like a injury i had weightlifting um i've been taking this because apparently it also helps with testosterone and it's also good for mus muscle functioning and um recovery and all that whatever i don't know um yeah probiotics so i can actually take a dump properly because if not, i don't take these i am quite constipated um got the vitamin d for the testosterone and because be in my basement um you don't really get a lot of exposure to sunlight so um yeah i feel like it's important for someone like me and for most needs actually to supplement vitamin d if you're able to 
and um finally i don't take this i just took this because the one time i went to a rave i thought i could like take it to the uh take it to um i guess alleviate the come down from like molly but i didn't do that so um i just had that there and this is the last one um that i'm gonna actually talk about but i really can't recommend enough um you know um um how do i put this how did i find out about this well i basically um jesus came to my server and he told me to try ash waganda and um if you uh, are in my server you'll probably know who i'm talking about but uh yeah jesus christ himself um came from the heavens and you know told me to try the supplement and i have to say like holy crap like i am still pretty anxious pretty socially awkward but ever since taking this for at least like a week or something i just have noticed that my anxiety and it's still there but i feel like it's definitely taken the edge off a lot of my negative emotions and um yeah i really can't recommend this enough if you're able to afford it i think it's definitely worth an investment and i definitely feel like it's having an effect far more than any placebo effect ever could who knows maybe my mind is just playing tricks on me but yeah um and this was supposed to increase my testosterone but um so far it hasn't really i feel helped and it kind of made me break out and like acne on my face like tiny like steroid acne so i stopped taking it and it went away so these are the things that i've been taking uh, pretty regularly and i feel like that's one thing i have going for me is that at least i'm able to take pills if i'm required to take them so yeah um not the greatest achievement i know but i mean you know gotta start with something right at least i'm able to hold certain habits um yeah so the second thing i have going for me is the fact that um like i've mentioned in my previous videos um i've always been passionate about music and although i don't make as much as i want to i still am occasionally at some points able to make stuff like daily or like every other day or somewhat more consistently and recently i've been you know um making a lot of the, these loops and um yeah there they are i mean this is my logic and i should be showing off the uh, the secret sauce no, i'm just kidding but um yeah i have like this whole um setup that i used to make beats and i basically just um right now i'm practicing making loops because i feel like my melodies are my weakest aspect of my music production i'm really bad at making like catchy melodies although i feel like i'm pretty good at like setting drum patterns down and yeah i'm able to, I, I at least like recently i've been making loops like daily and um these are like all kind of loops that I've made um, like in the past, like yeah, th these ones were yesterday. In fact, I haven't made any today because I've been kind of lazy, but um, yeah, there's like, I'll just play one. It's kind of probably kind of trash, but. I don't know like what genre this is, but. It's kind of like R&B, I guess. I don't know. This that one's like a hybrid, like trap, like hip hop trap. I don't know. Like maybe like dance hall. I don't know. Like this one is. So it's probably pretty cringe, but you kind of get the point. Like I made four loops yesterday um, that I actually kept. I made like maybe one or two more that I deleted. And ideally, I would be making like maybe at least 10 of these a day and making like three complete beats, like treating this as if it were like a full time job. But I just um, don't have the motivation as of now. So, um, yeah, hopefully that's something I can fix. But at least, you know, I've managed to make some music. And I've, although I haven't put in my 10,000 hours to be like a master at something, I have put in maybe like 2,000 or 3,000. So that's definitely a foundation I have to build on. And, you know, at least I am a quarter of the way there. I feel I have a lot to learn, but I'd say at least I think I'm way better than the beginner. So 
I think I have that going for me. So the third thing that I've been doing to um, be more productive is that, um, well, I've been pretty consistent about sticking to my exercise. And this mostly consists of me um, basically doing like this, I guess, like boxing thing, but it's pretty unofficial. And I've probably talked about it in like my workout video, but basically um, I've been, I've been mostly consistent about it. Like I've been doing it at least like three to five times a week. And my sessions mostly last around two to three hours. And they mostly consist of me either throwing punches like in the air, um, hitting the uh, hitting the uh, standing bag, or um, what else? Um, hitting the standing bag, or I guess like practicing my form. And um, yeah, and although I haven't been really doing it like as um, I guess effectively as I could, um, it certainly has helped me keep my weight somewhat in check given um, how bad my diet is, which I've probably talked about for the hundredth time. And um, yeah, I also have been supplementing that with a little bit of body weight stuff, but I'm hoping to uh, get back to the gym at some point. But regardless, um, you know, that's what I'm working with right now. Um, that combined with my supplement, I guess, use has helped me have a pretty okay physique. Um, and stay relatively in shape at least. And um, yeah, I'll probably be sprinkling some clips of me punching, I'm not sure, um, this video. But yeah, that's the third thing that I've been working on. And I guess the last thing that I've been doing is um, well, you know, I don't know, this is kind of pathetic, but um, I feel like having a Discord server has been sort of productive for someone like me just because prior to having this server or even just making my YouTube channel in general, and I guess I'll count my YouTube channel too, um, um, I really wasn't doing anything at all. Um, well, I did have my music goals, but like I was pretty much isolated 100%. I didn't have um, any social contact at all. And um, I was basically um, alone in my um, alone in my room in in my mom's basement, pretty much twenty four seven for like the past like three years. And I'd only ever talked to my parents occasionally, or maybe family members that they visited or came over. But that's pretty much it. I certainly wasn't talking to people my age, and as a result of that, I feel like my social skills suffered greatly. And as well as um, my, um, I guess, my, I definitely had a huge anxiety around people, even on the internet. And I definitely was too scared to ever join a Discord. But, you know, after actually just even having like such a small server and, you know, it's not the most active server, I'm sure. But, you know, there's like a decent amount going on. I feel like it's fairly comfy. Everyone's been pretty nice. And I feel like, as a result, my social skills at least have taken a few steps forward. Um, and yeah, um, it's definitely been, yeah, been cool, like interacting with people, some of them fans, some of them just like random people who, you know, um, jumped on the server from like, I guess other discords because like people posting like links there. But um, yeah, um, I feel like, I guess, as far as like me working on my social skills, this has definitely been one thing I feel that has helped me and I will be taking more risks as far as that kind of stuff goes. Like I'm thinking maybe I'll screen capture myself like going on Omegle and talking to random people and then eventually maybe even like, um, I don't know, like going on, um, just going outdoors and actually filming myself talking to actual people. I may talk about um, what happens when I actually try and get a job, maybe talk about my experiences with that. And yeah, so hopefully that will, uh, you know, move on further. But as far as like me working on my social skills go, I feel like, 
you know, this Discord kind of counts, I guess, as pathetic as it sounds. So yeah, that's like pretty much all that I've been doing to be productive. And um, I'll just cut to the, uh, I guess, final clip. Hey guys, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below if you enjoyed what you just saw. And um, yeah, starting from next video, I'm going to be doing more practical stuff or, you know, stuff that actually involves me starting to do things towards this journey and um, of, uh, I guess, self-improvement and whatever. And um, yeah, it's also come to my attention that I might be shadow banned. So because of that, I'm going to be trying to cut down on the cussing and swearing as much as possible, not just because of my channel, but also because it really is quite cringe. Um, the fact that I cuss so much and have such a potty mouth at my age, like a um, petulant teenager. So that's definitely something I'm gonna be working on too. And um, anyways, yeah, um, I think that's all I have to say for now. So, oh yeah, and also if the video kind of looks like weird if like my energy changes halfway through the video it's because i shot this over two days because i've just been too lazy but um yeah anyways this is company neat signing out